Hello everyone and welcome back to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, Senior Instructor here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic is Drawing History. Here we will see how it works and what we are required to do for it to work. Are we ready? Let's get going. But first, let's all make sure that we understand that the drawing that you want to work with in drawing history needs to be stored in a cloud system approved by Autodesk. A cloud system such as Dropbox, OneDrive, Box, or Google Drive. Let us begin. Very well, first we will go to the Open Files. And here in Open Files, I will go to the Dropbox. Here in Dropbox, I have a couple of folders which have pre-done and what we're going to be working with is drawing history. We select drawing history and we open in which case the system will automatically give us the drawing plus a previously saved item of the same drawing. So this this is actually the drawing set back on June 3rd at 12:14 p.m by digital drafting systems okay the if in case that you don't see this such as this way you can come over here to view and in view you go to the end here to drawing history and invoke it it will automatically then go ahead and search into the particular Dropbox or let's call that uh, cloud storage area that you have your drawing in and it will automatically see all the backup drawings and we'll start to actually uh, demonstrate them here for you in order of date, time, and user. The, ab the way that you're able to actually filter this down is first of all here this slider will allow you to um, filter it by time as you can see one hour, every four hours, every 24 hours, or every two days. In this case, we only have this particular singular uh, last recorded uh, um, version of the drawing. In this section in here, if you open it up, it says all users and it will list all of the users who have accessed this particular drawing. In this particular case, it's only the digital drafting systems. Further, you have this other filter right here, which allows you to then select the specific date that you want to actually go ahead and draw and compare. Once you've uh, uh, identified the one that you want to uh, work on, you can then go ahead over here and find the one that you want on the list. By hovering over it, you will see this little icon, This is which is the compare drawing. When you invoke it, this is what you get. Okay, in this particular one, now you have this little floating uh, dialog box which can be turned on or off. Now you will notice that when I unpin it, when I move away from it, it turns off. In order to get it back, I have to come back over here to the s settings and pin it so it doesn't go away and I can move it around. You will also notice that you have multicolored items. Not only do you have a multicolored items, but you also have some clouds in here. Okay, and we will see how all of this is actually controlled. As you can see here by looking at this very particular little um, uh, history here, it's telling you that anything that is red is not in the current drawing. So it, this, this door is not in the current drawing, neither is this one, nor that one, nor these little red uh, boxes. Second, whatever is green is in the current drawing. So it only exists in the current drawing, it doesn't exist in the previous drawing. And that would be some of these green lines that I've done some modifications onto. Okay, everything that is gray, according to this this uh, little uh, history here, is going to be there is no difference between the previous version and the latest version. Okay, and you also have your drawing order. You will notice that by changing the drawing order, certain things come to the forefront, and certain others go to the back uh, background. You will also notice that you have a specific color for your cloud, which is this one right here. Okay, and you have the ability to select the type of cloud that you're going to be drawing, whether it's polygonal or rectangular. 
and the size. Now the size doesn't necessarily in, uh, invoke the size of the arc. It's actually looking about the, the offset from the object of the arc, such as like this. Okay, so you're looking at an offset from the object. If I want to switch it to polygon to rectangular, there you go to rectangular or back to polygonal. I, if I want to change the color of the cloud, I can change it this way, or I can downright turn it off through this little button right here, this little light button. The same thing then was true with all of the other buttons that you see here. You can turn off the no differences, you can turn off the items in green that exist only in the current <coughs> drawing and also delete the red, uh, not delete, but turn off the red items that are not in the current drawing, only in the previous drawing, in the, such as this. You also have the control of being able to turn on and off your hatch. In this particular case, the hatch is off. I can turn it back on, as you can see, or off, or I can turn off my text, such as this, okay? So you have quite a bit of controls here. Now, you will notice that you have these uh, little uh, little uh, dialog box up here with a couple of other, th uh, other things. So let's take a look at it. If we have the little light bulb, okay, that means turn on or off the drawing compare without necessarily turning this off, turning the whole uh, um, app off. You'll also notice that you are able to actually go ahead and cycle through all of your flagged areas so you don't have to go fishing for them in the drawing some some of these drawings can be rather large okay so you can go backwards and forwards on that further you have this little import objects okay in the import objects if you select import objects it's going to ask you what it is that you want to import let's say i want to import this particular box here Okay, any more objects? No, select the enter key and there it is. It, it is now part of the gray area. So it was transferred over to the no differences because I copied it from the previous version to the current version. That means that there's no difference on that object. Okay, and you also have the ability to create a snapshot. Okay, this snapshot then is stored in your, web, uh, in your uh, cloud uh, storage area. And in this particular case, I'm not going to save it, but I want to show you that it will automatically then give you the compared drawing versus older version of the particular drawing that you're looking at. So th you'll notice that drawing history, and this is the comparison snapshot of what happened between the last version, which is the uh, June uh, 3rd, 12, 14 p.m., versus the current version of today. Let's go ahead and cancel that. With that, in order to terminate the drawing uh, history, I come over here to the check mark, and in which case it will automatically turn the whole system office back to where you were before. If I want to recall it, it's easy. I just come back over here and recall through this icon, and it brings it right back to where it was before. With that, we have reached the end of the explanation of drawing history. Please remember the drawing needs to be stored in an Autodesk approved storage system, such as the ones we've mentioned, Dropbox, OneDrive, Box, or Google Drive. With that, we have come to the end of this small blog on drawing compare, or rather drawing history. This has, this has been Jim Cuervo with Digital Drafting Systems, wishing you a safe, healthy day. Till the next one. Thank you for watching.